Hey everyone, it's Tech Genie back with another unboxing for you today. Today I'll be looking at the AirPort Express um, by Apple and a smart 4 device for charger. Okay, so we get out our trusty little knife here. And if we start with the AirPort Express, I shall take you through the outside of the box. So, quite minimalistic, normal Apple design, Apple logo on either side. Picture of what the AirPort Express actually is, 802.11n Wi-Fi. And then obviously we've got what it can do. So it can create a wireless network, um, AirPlay, and you can attach it to your printer. Little, um, well that's quite cool. We've got the back, we've got the front, look at that. So we've got the um, charge lead, the Ethernet, USB, obviously speakers, and the WAN cable that can go in there. And then a little bit of this boring stuff on the back. Okay, so that's the AirPort Express box. Normal Apple, clean packaging. So this is quite nice. So if you can see the um, packaging for this one. So this is um, by someone, a company called Blue Flame. It's basically a, a smart charger that can charge multiple, I think it's four devices at a time. Um, yeah, so quite neat packaging really. So we've got on the side what it looks like on the left, what it looks like on the right. Smart USB ports. Um, I'll talk a little bit about what this charger um, does and then we've got a little bit of information on the back in different languages obviously. And then front and sides, pretty similar. And then obviously normal stuff at the back, um, bottom. But then we've got this little flap, so now if we can open it up, we can see what it's like on the inside. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so here we've got the actual device on the inside, and then we've got a little picture of what it's actually gonna look like. Um, okay, so that's the two products. Now let's get into opening them. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Airport Express. A little bit more fun to um, open it. So if we get out our little knife here, um, which I'd be start from. Okay, so we'll start from the side here. Just open it up. Get the knife in. He says, Jesus. Open up the side. Side there. Okay, so if we can get the packaging up now. Okay, so there we go. There's the um, Airport Express, the little box that it comes in. Um, I'll just get rid of this rubbish. Um, okay, so there was, there's a little box. Um, okay, so if we slide it open, there we go. So we've got this little packaging here, and then Apple logo, quite simple, normal white Apple stuff that you'd expect. Take it out, and there we go. It's pretty much the same size as the um, Apple TV, and then we've got the normal um, packaging, which is actually, I'll zoom in so you guys can see this. This is the best bit, taking up all the off the back. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. So they've got a little packaging around the side, obviously, to protect dust from going into the, um, to into all the ports and everything. I'll just check you can see all this. Yep. Um, so now, if I just take this off. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, so there we go. We've got the uh, charger port, the WAN um, port, Ethernet, USB, and then we've got the speaker. I don't know what this does. Okay, so there we go, that's what it um, looks like. Quite clean matte bottom. Also we've got the, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got the Apple logo on the top. It's quite quite white. Um, so yeah, it looks really clean. And then also we've got the light that shows whenever it's turned on. So, looks really clean, looks really nice. Only problem that I have with it is it could get really dirty over time if you're not careful with it. And the marks will show up because it's so white. But otherwise, really nice product. So let's look on the inside of the box. So. If we take out the little cap at the top, nice neatly coiled wire, uh, if we take this out. So obviously this is the charger lead. How do they do this? God, that's cool. Anyway, so that's the charger, obviously this goes in the back here, and then obviously a wall charger. Um, if we just get out of this all the way. Um, okay, so now obviously we've got the setup guide, and that's it, there's the box. Take this off. Yeah, put express setup guide in all different languages. All fun instructions. Nobody needs those. Nobody likes instructions. Okay, so that was the... Um, I'll talk about them in a second once I've got them both unboxed. So now let's move on to the 4 device wall charger by Blue Flame. Okay, so let's bring in the 4 device wall charger by Blue Flame. So, quite a simple packaging, I've already shown you. If we just take off this sticky bit at the bottom. Um, get the knife in there, and then if we can... Yeah. Ah, there we go. Okay, opens on the bottom. Uh, 
we just slide out the box. A little bit more fiddly than the Apple design. Okay, so we've got some instructions. That's it inside the box. So we'll get rid of the box. Um, okay, so we've got the little instruction manual here. Obviously, normal stuff as you'd expect as you go through the manual. Quite simple, not anything detailed, but um, packaging. There we go, there's the little wall charger. Quite small, quite compact, looks really neat and tidy. Um, nothing underneath the box. Quite cheap packaging if we compare it to the solid cardboard box and sleeve that we get from Apple. Um, but obviously not quite a rich and developed um, company. But anyway, so if we take out the charger, there we go. So, a really, really nice feel to it. In fact, that's really nice. So it's got a uh, matte kind of feel. Um, Kind of, kind of similar to this um, feel up here, but a little bit more soft. Really nice touch to it. We've got the, um, yeah, so there, um, there's the one, two, three, four, four wall chargers, and then obviously you just plug it straight into the wall, and then you can charge four things at once. Um, so those are the two products that we've got unboxing for today. I'm just gonna talk a little bit more about them in depth now. Okay, so here's the two um, things we've got for you today. There's the four um, charger wall charger, and then we've got the Apple TV. So we can talk about the wall charger first. So um, this is called the Quad, obviously self-explanatory. Got four charger leads. So four device wall charger. Uh, I think if I, I believe I'm right, it's a fast charging 34 watt. I think it's 6.8 amp total smart USB ports. And so you might be wondering what it means by smart USB. So um, what it means is that the you, um, as soon as you plug in your device, it will be able to tell um, how much power to admit to each device. Because if you recognize, if we get um, the the charge lead for the, what do you call this thing? I forgot what it's called, AirPods Express. It's obviously going to supply a certain amount of charge to charge the um, voltage to charge the um, AirPods Express. Obviously it doesn't blow the battery and doesn't kill it. So obviously if we got uh, this and we're using the same amount of charge to charge an iPad, you're going to blow the battery. So obviously what this does, obviously different to every other device, is it goes, okay, I know you're charging an iPad, I'll supply you with X amount of charge. So that's the main selling point of this um, charge lead. Quite useful, I mean, you don't really get anything else, we, um, we haven't seen anything else that's like this. Um, so that's the uh, main feature of it, but it also works pretty much any phone, as long as you've got a USB charger that can go with it. Um, yeah, and then obviously we've got the nice profile of it, black and white, looks really nice, got the soft touch feel to it. So that's um, this, It's uh, the price that you can get it is about $60 if you're in the US, um, or a similar price in the UK, but in pounds sterling. So I'll put the links in the description for both of these uh, devices if you want to go and check them out. Uh, okay, so if we, um, if we move on to the Airport Express now. Okay, so now for the Airport Express, um, this is Almost the same price as the um, quad charger. Obviously, they're different devices, so you can't really compare the two. But um, if you wanted to get the collect, uh, the both of them, so this is uh, I think it's sixty pounds, and then the Airports Express you can get for just seventy nine pounds if you look on the um, Apple Store. So basically eighty pounds. Um, so what can this um, this do? So it's pretty much the same as the Apple TV, but it can do a little bit more. So if you remember the um, Airport plugins that you could have to stream your music around the house, so this can do. It can do. You can share music um, around the house, and you can also have Wi-Fi um, to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, Touch, or Mac. And apparently, it's fast in every way. Um, yeah, you might have guessed. I'm looking at the Apple website at the moment, so um, bear with me. So that's um, how basically what this thing can do. So if we look at the um, packaging, um, so it, this can create a wireless network for all of your um, devices. So you can obviously put it up around the house. You can have, um, I don't know how many you can connect to it, but obviously it's going to be quite fast. Um, and you can also connect to printer, obviously wirelessly. And again, you can airplay your music across. So this is replaced the old airport that used to be, um, that we had problems with, so we've replaced it with this. So quite compact. I would say good price um, for what you're getting. Um, so yeah, that's the Airport Express. Um, and then we've got the charger lead that can plug in the back of it. Obviously, normal matte coloured charge lead. Um, so there we go. So that's the um, Airport Express. Okay, I, I forgot to mention that the um, 
Airpods Express can connect to uh, lots of brands of different uh, computers or anything that's connecting with it. So um, what it means by is its high performance and dual uh, performance is it emits 20 um, emits when it says it's 802.11 n Wi-Fi, it means it emits 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz frequencies. So um, no matter what your wireless device is, it's still going to be able to connect to this. You can connect to the internet. Um, yeah, so you can also use this to extend your uh, wireless networks range. So if you use one in your home and it's downstairs and its range is quite short, if you just plug this in, place it in range of the first primary base station, um, which uh, I believe you can get uh, something called the Airport Extreme, which um, gives out juice and whatever you call it, those little wavy things, Wi-Fi, that's it. Um, yeah, so you just open it up, launch the easy Airport utility, connect it all up, connect your app or um, yeah, connect all your um, tablets and your computers to it, and it'll boost your Wi-Fi charge over the house. Okay, so if we want to, if we just summarise what um, what's been going on here today, so we've been looking at the quad um, charger that can smart device that can detect what you're charging, so it can su uh, supply a certain amount of voltage to each utility that you're plugging into it. So that's um, I think it was fifty nine dollars. So relatively cheap for um, what you get. Really nice feel. Overall design of the I don't know where it's gone actually. Um, overall design of the packaging looks nice on the outside, pretty cheap on the inside. Obviously, that's to save money, and they can afford to do that because it's not so much of a big company compared to Apple. So, and then if we look at the Airport Express, um, increase your broadband or your Wi Fi across your house. You can connect your printers, you can connect uh, more devices to get bigger Wi Fi connection, um, and you can also stream music across your house to your wireless speakers or everything. This comes in at What's it? I think it, yeah, seventy nine pounds um, in the UK. Um, similar price in the US. I'll put the links in the description for the US and the UK website. You can might be able to get off a different dealer other than Apple, because Apple were known to sell stuff a little bit quite expensive. But you know, good products. So yeah, overall feel really nice, really slim. Feels really compact, really rugged. Doesn't look like it's going to break. We've got a lot of um, ports in the back, but obviously they're hidden from view. Really nice design again. Apple's come out on top for that one. Always seem to do packaging. I don't know how they do it, but really clean, really nice. So there we go. That's the um, that's the packaging, and then obviously we have got the charge lead that's quite conventional for Apple. So there we go. So that's the Airport Express and the Quad Blue Flame um, charger port. Okay, so that's it um, for today. That's what we've brought you two unboxings. Um, so if you like the video or anything, or if you've got any suggestions, please. Feel free to leave a comment. We want to keep um, this community going. If you've got any questions, please ask us. Um, we'll put all of our links in the description to other videos. I've just put up a recent video about a stylus. Which, if you're interested in, um, then you can go and have a look about. Um, you can go and have a look at that. Yeah. So I've just done a video about the um, bamboo stylus. So here it is. Um, there's the unboxing. I filmed it quite a long time ago. That was when we first started the channel. But if you want to go and check that out, I'll put the link in the description. I'll put the playlist in the description. So if you want to go and check those out. Oh, spoilers, spoilers. No opening, no. Okay, so put it on the side. Um, that's it for today. If you got any suggestions you want us to do, let us know. See you in the next video, guys. We're out. Sliding it off and it sort of fades off. So everything's done really nicely and professionally. Just gonna show you. Almost certain that it'll look like the new Samsung Galaxy Alpha and the Galaxy Note. So, thank God for that. Is